Yes, sir. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Heard you, too. Well, thank you. Huh? That was a long evening, though, wasn't it? Yes, huh? yep. They get to be uh, long. The worst way to come, though. I well, got it there. Well, it's, it's good to see you. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. I want you to meet my I friend here. He's my neighbor, too. Oh, hi, Mr. President. Hello, Hello Jim Hemphill. Well, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you uh, know your cousin here. I don't want to spell it up. Oh, glad to see you too. Well, John, we're glad. I'm yeah. glad to see you. Good. I want to tell you something. You, have you met? Yes, yes sir. Yes, we, we just did. now Thank met. You. Thank you. Two mm -hmm. minutes. I want to tell you something. All right. You got time? Yeah. You know, I've been blowing about the ABM up there in the city. Yeah. They called me, wanted me to sign that thing, you know. I told them I wouldn't do it. One of the reasons, because I was at that meeting, you know? Mm -hmm. I was sent there. I wasn't a negotiator, but I was sent by the Senate. I was on the Foreign Relations Committee. And I remember that they agreed first that they would, each side could deploy a launcher at the Capitol, and I forget, a few on the country. Mm -hmm. and the United States didn't want her to deploy one at the Capitol. They did. And soon after that, they violated the number out in the country. And it was known. And so these fellows up there were trying to get that sign to go back that old. They weren't there. Mm. They called me, wanted me to sign it. I said, well, not. It's just politics. So I want to tell you that, I think you knew it anyway. Well, I appreciate that. And no. you remember that I had an article printed in the Washington Post. I was surprised. I was in the hospital at the time, though. Mm. I slipped and cracked four ribs. I was out there for nearly three months. Well, she, was, she came out to see me, and she asked me what I thought about this thing. Catherine I, Graham. You know, so-called Contra thing. Mm -hmm. I thought about anything to it. That the president had these vast powers. I, so I had already worked on it. I had the Constitution. So she said if I would send her this article I had practically finished it then, she'd put it in the paper. That was Mrs. Graham. Huh? huh? Mrs. Graham. Graham. Mrs. Graham. Graham. I was rather really surprised they did, you know. But by the way, they did. On the editorial page. I sent you a copy. I don't yes, know. yes. Very little change. In fact, it, it shows that the president has vast powers, you know, yeah. to protect the country. And even I, I described in there how Jefferson, when the pirates in Libya yes. came out and fired in the ships, by God, he he ordered them. That's right. Artillery on them, you know. But anyway, she, she published it. And it's very nice of her to do it because I didn't know, you know, it never. John, usually, it. usually their paper has, it takes a different I know, tone. But I don't know if she <laughs> said if you were sent to me, I'll see it put in. Well, that's uh, great. She did. She did that. She's a good friend of yours, what? John. She's a good friend of yours. Well, she's always been a pretty good friend. She liked my wife. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm real busy, but I want, also well, want to tell you one thing. That friend up there over the weekend, he very nice to see you. <laughs> Happy Chandler. Well, for Happy heaven's Chandler? sakes, yes, I do. He made me a Kentucky colonel once. <laughs> they all knew him up there at the Capitol. Well. Because he, among other things, you know, of course he's sane. <laughs> and, but he put the first black man in the big league. They, sometimes you give credit to the other, but happy the man did. Yeah. Well. So, yeah. well. Listen, here's just a little souvenir of today's visit. What's that? A little souvenir of today's visit. Well, you're very nice. Well, here, here, John. Here, here. He's that? got, he's got oh. some. Oh yeah. Some cufflinks. That's great. All right. I do thank you. Not things you want. Don't worry about you. <laughs> you're All right. right. Well, thank you for coming in. Well, I do thank you. See you. Right. And this man is. All right. Yeah, he's a strong supporter. Of yours. Where is he? Right here. Oh. There he is. Hey. And Sean oh, Republican. So He's a Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania man, you know. Well, good to see John, you. Thank you for coming uh, thank in. You, sir. Here's my fellow. His father 
He worked for me. I worked for you too. He did, his brother. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You First did, job in you? Washington was with him. I'll uh, walk out with him, Mr. Oh, President. All right. If you don't mind. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. There you got that done. Easter seal. Thank you, John. She's with Dr. Angelotis. Hi, Mr. Reagan. Hi, Susie. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's good to see you. Hey. It's too bad she's so shy and retired. I'm not shy. <laughs> I just didn't have very much to talk about. This is the Oval Office you've been asking about. Here it is. Not a corner in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll bet you this is the first time you've had a karate champ in the, in the Oval Office. You know, you met Susie, Mr. President. He's our adult representative. Yes, He's the adult equivalent of the... Well, you know something, I think, I think right. Ada would like to have you send her a Now, Susie can do that. Can you turn around, Susie? Do a wheelie for us and uh, okay. And then come not back. Me, I'm kidding. And then get I'm come back here and turn around and get to uh, face the photographer. Face see. the photographers, but come back here beside us. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, the way. Yeah, you got it. There you are. No. Yeah. She's been having a ball as as well, we all are. And yeah. she helped us raise thirty three point three million. Over the space. Telecom six. And. Did you know the president himself called in and sent a check to us? And guess what? Guess what, Mr. President? Guess what? Guess what? I even met your old friend Ricky Schroeder. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the young actor Ricky? Yes. Yeah. He's getting older now, too. Guess what? He just turned 17 a couple of days ago. 17. Well, for heaven's sakes. Let's, let's let him meet your folks. Yeah, here yeah. Okay. Mom? Her mom and dad and sister, Hi. Mr. Hi. President. Yeah. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. Big sister. Yeah. Big sister. Yeah. Why don't you all come to a family photo? We'll get a family photo. Should I be in here? Too? That's her yeah. trademark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so we got some things to give you, Mr. President. Yep. Yeah. Sure do. That's a unique one. You want to hand that to Mr. President? Yeah, but first, um. <laughs> oh, you want to? <laughs> All right. She may go into PR. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, thank you very much. That's I'm her really picture there. And, and, uh, also, yes. and also playing piano. Picture for playing yeah. piano. Well, I don't really play anymore. Don't. <laughs> well, that's a picture you're doing it when you did, anyway. Yeah, oh, I did. Yeah, she's moved from piano to karate. She destroyed mother, too many pianos. My mother played the piano. <laughs> in all those years, the only thing I could do if I ever sat down with the bench was I finally, with a finger, could do the bugle call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not chopsticks. So one finger. Dun, 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 dun. Did you want to show what you're going for? Sure. That's right over there. Well, I thought you were going to show that. Oh. You want to just show the president a couple of, She's a yes. purple belt in karate. Yes, That's I, the, I the fourth that, level uh, out of eight. She's getting You want to show a couple of moves, karate moves? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Don't hurt him. 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 This could be a federal yeah. offense. Okay. Be careful. Nothing, so you better break Just self defense. Just back up. <laughs> Good. I made the mistake of getting too close, and, and I thought she was going to break my arm. She could hurt you. How about this? All right. All right, now, Mr. Reagan, this is, um, um, this is from the whole class. See? Oh, See in their name? For heaven's sakes, this is the Foothill School, but now, 
Autographed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole class. But, All but her that class. Must be, that must be, that's our custom, and that's Gordon Krauss from, um, from Mrs. Gilmore. Here, here, I'll show you which classes are from, I mean, which people are from which class. Well, that could take a while, Susie. So oh, yeah. <laughs> there are about 55 youngsters here. There's a picture of them. And about three from them. Yeah. All right. Well, then. Well, wait, and I have a This is my wife. Yes. Nice yes. to meet you. You'll yes, I think this is our photographer. So let's have some. Yeah. And there are a few more people over there. We're from uh, Greek, California. You broke the ground at College of the Redwood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know. I know you're say it. <laughs> Yes. And, um, and I went to a college in Illinois called Eureka College. That's right. That's right. That's right. We have the uh, association members here. So. Yeah, we'd Elizabeth, like to meet another president. Elizabeth Kershaw is the president of National Hello, Society. Hello, Elizabeth. Well, 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 nice to meet you. And Tom Appreciate Kershaw. all that you all do. I did it. Pleasure. Pleasure. And John Garrison, John who is the chief executive officer. Hi, Sandy. Hello. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. Maybe one photograph. Right, one big group. You want to do yeah, a whole? Yeah. Okay. If everybody can get back together, okay. Yes, the president. We've seen your wide angle lenses. We don't need to do it. Yes, just as long as you don't make me wide angle. <laughs> 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 I agree with that. That's pretty sharp because they can do that. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> well, listen. Now, do you think you could send? Why don't you show me a picture? Oh, yes. Yeah. This is a picture of our girl's cat troop and some of Lita. Here's Susie. Yeah, and that's me. That's Elizabeth Hill. That's Elizabeth Lamel. <laughs> that's Lisa Brooker. That's Susie Blair. Um, um, that's Winnie Black. Um, like, um that's why uh, one of our new comments, that's what we're going to say. That's Corey Bell 20. I mean, I mean, Carol Bell 20, not Corey Bell 20. And, and this is, um, and this is, um, Heidi, um, Heidi, uh, what's her last name? Douglas. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Heidi Douglas, um, Winnie Black, um, um, Susan, um, Susan, um, Susan B, I forgot the last name. Now, if you'll read those names back to us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. um, like, Total recall. This is yeah. Amanda. This is Heather. And this is Eric. And that's Miss Wilcox, Louise Wilcox. And that's Mrs. Hillock, her mother. Aren't you well, honorary president of the Scouts? What? Aren't you honorary president mm -hmm. of the Boys? Yes. But I want to tell you also, I am, uh, I've got to hand it to you here. Uh, I have a little problem anymore with names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go with it again. Do you think we could sign? Do you have a pen there? Yes. Okay. This is as a surprise. That's a surprise. I want to take that back to her. Is it to the, for the scout troop or your uh, uh, yeah, my schoolmates? I uh, actually forgot to sign. I don't know. Here you are. Thank you. You just signed an excuse for them to skip class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, listen, before you all go, and inside here is the jelly beans. Yes, John. <laughs> <laughs> John and yes. Yeah, isn't that nice right. to see you? Oh, Ricky Schroeder. Yeah. A little bit of information you want. Wow. <laughs> He's yeah. pretty yeah. He's yeah. moving up there. That's, the, that's what's known as the Great Seal. I know, in the I think. United it's... States. They're studying that. And you see, yeah. there it is up there. Uh -huh. Well, if you're studying that right now, I'll give you a little bit of history. Okay. 
you will notice that the eagle is turning his head looking to the to his right and in that claw he's holding the olive branch in the other claw are arrows yep and, and peace and it was harry truman president truman who changed the eagle to doing that because in that old desk which is much older uh, the eagle used to face the arrows uh -huh. And after World War II, President Truman decided to have him face the other. Mm -hmm. so, Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. I like that little sign on your desk. Okay, it says, no. can be the arrows are for war and the um, branches for peace. That's, that's right. 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 Exactly. I had some other things. I you. Mary, why don't you run away with it? Thank you, Mary. <coughs> one song. Oh, Mrs. Van's alive. One. Yes. And uh, and you, I have. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to take The only one we leave out is the fellow. He's a regular business. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he's home, folks. I got my yeah. <laughs> well, we want to get one more picture with the uh, Vangelados family. I understand we didn't do that yet. Okay. Yeah. You should be in the middle. Jim Tim Swift. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do How's he doing? Uh -huh. Good. Yeah. Even though um, even though Mrs. Reagan isn't there, may I just show them? Um, so can show sure. Mrs. Reagan yeah. has sent sure someone she... to come meet with you yeah. right after. Yeah. She just wants to get out with us. She is. Uh, um, Susie, we're going to do that. Susie's very interested in the drug program. That, oh, that message is getting yes. out. Just saying, I'm very Did yeah. you ever know how that started? No. She was in a classroom in Oakland, California, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. making a little speech on drugs, and a little girl stood up and said, well, what, what do you say when someone offers you drugs? And Nancy said, just say no. Mm -hmm. There are now over 12,000 just-say-no clubs in yeah. schools in the United States. And right. just, and, and right. just like, Guess what? Guess what? I also saw your wife with different strokes. Yes. <laughs> with Gary Coleman. Yeah. Nothing much slips by. Um, um, excuse me. Um, 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 excuse me. When your wife was on the phone, was that really you calling her? In the show. Yeah. Probably oh, not. You oh, know how they make they pretend no, on TV. No, we do it on the telephone too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That show yeah. did. <laughs> because um because. It probably wasn't because, because, because I don't think you were, you would be afraid to say I love you. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it comes in handy to say it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that nice? See, you've learned all sorts of things while you've been here. <laughs> she's been a real champ for us, you know. She's, she did a great job on the telethon. As you see, all the energy and the awareness constantly. And, it was very encouraging because there's a there's a million million people at Easter Seals help every year and they're watching the telethon to see if we're going to meet last year's standard and we would not only did it but we made history 33.3 million thanks over there and, of, and of those million we 40 percent are adults but yeah. a lot of you who are doing these things, things know that you know this is pretty unique I was <coughs> sitting beside an ambassador's wife at one of our dinners. And something came up, and I was talking about things like this in, in our country. And, uh, and she quietly interrupted, and she said, yes, but you are very, you're unique. And I said, well, what do you mean? Well, she says, yes, in your country, in other countries, my own included. She said, we turn to the government for those yeah. things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, recently, yeah. believe it or not, there was a meeting held in Paris, France, and people from our country as volunteers and parts of organizations just like this were all there. And the reason for it was a conference of people from all the other countries in Europe who wanted us to come and tell them how they could turn to the private sector and have things done this way by the courage volunteers. And Prime Minister Chirac of France was here recently and he told me how successful it was and how happy they all were. They just mm -hmm. this had just never existed in those yeah. other countries. Indeed. Indeed. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, yeah.
Thank you. Thank you all. And bless you. I know you're going to do a lot. Oh, Mommy. Yeah. Uh, Mommy, you can Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. What? I think uh, Sandy has him. He'll be showing the, the woman who's coming from Mrs. Ringman's office. Okay. Susie's been working on some drug slogans for her club. She wants oh. to get information about starting a club in her school. Well, so. mm -hmm. sure great to see you again. Good Surely see. since her best. Yes, you she and Nancy. I was when she wasn't here. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Got to get you all together again. <laughs> Goes back to the John Thomas Die days, as yes. you remember. I'll talk to you later about the scouting program, and I think you'll be interested. Okay. I want to make sure you formally met someone who's been working for you, Carol Hornsby, Mr. President. Uh, nice to see you. Domestic you. policy and public liaison. Well, pleased that you'll do it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. All right. I don't know just what her ailment is. Mr. President, Hi, brought to you Don Nancy. Clary and his wife, yes. Wendy Allen. Hello there. Hi, nice to see you, Mr. Well, President. Nice to see you. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good to see you. Why don't we? Pose for the. Thank you. Well, I know you're not going too far, but you're jumping ship. Well, that's true, but you know, like old staffers never die, they fade away, I guess. So I'm going to be a few blocks away and... Uh, well, we're glad you're, you're still in the park. I will do what I can for you over there. Uh, I've enjoyed it all. Wait one second. And let you go without having a souvenir and a bookmark. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for everything. Okay. Well, it's been an honor, and uh, it's been a great four years, and uh, glad I'm so part of it. Well, I am too. Team. I know you'll be a big help to, right. to Jim. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. All right. You bet. Bye now. Okay. Bye. Bye. Pleased to have you. Let's. Do our thing. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. And sir. thank you. You were uh, going back in the private life? I am going into the private sector. I came here with Mitch Daniels. So I was here really for the election cycle. With mixed feelings, take the gamble. We're still out there for you, just in a different sector. Okay. So we'll be there. Well, here's your oh, thank you so much, sir. Just to let you forget us. God bless you. Thanks. Elizabeth Penning, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm Nancy Caldwell, Mr. Penning. I've got something in common with you. My father was born in Dixon. Well, for heaven's sake. <laughs> so what was his name? Kerman. Good. It's, it's a good name. Irish name. Yes, that's a familiar name, too. And McGrath. Yes. Well, and I'm a ranchero. Yes, I know. I'm Jack Collins, uh, president. Well, I'm a ranchero, <laughs> I wanted to make two and you wouldn't know it anymore. <laughs> oh, no cowboy boots. <laughs> I'm chairman of the Ranchero's Parade this year. That's what I and understand. You understood that. And this is a little presentation, a little memento of it. And it's a little picture of you, of course, when you were on the Ranchero's mm -hmm. ride. And here's there. Here. <laughs> and here's Pete Herdman, my yes. Pete, of course. Well. And Elizabeth Penniman's father went on the ride last year, so for the first time, this is Elizabeth here. So well. we, <laughs> I made a little, a little, uh, a little, just a little letter that goes with it, and I thought I'd yeah. give this to somebody. Yes, thank you very thank much. You. And uh, it just uh, it says that we, all the ranch girls, we're hopeful that you'd come on a ride this year, although I thought it was a little something. <laughs> no, I'm afraid when I go anyplace anymore, I'm a group. <laughs> you are a group, are you? A sizable group. Yeah. But maybe in another two years you can do it. Yeah. Possibly so. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Mr. President. I, I uh, met you also when I was president of Ranch in California. You had some property down there. Yes. And uh, so that was a, a wonderful time to, to see you. We had a, a, Traded that in on the present ranch. Which is the one you have now? Yes. So you kind of parlayed it up to that. Yep. Now that's good. Are you involved at all in the San Cristobal or in New Mexico or that ranch? No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So 
have the one up there on the hill. Oh, that's quite a Rancho quite a del site. Cielo. That's, uh, that's a, well, we'll be riding very close to that. Oh, I know. Well, at once upon a time, when Ray Cornelius had it, yes. you rode through it. Sure, we did. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I have a print of that, a reprint of that little book on the 10th anniversary of the 1939 ride. And I was really fascinated when they told about part of the ride was up over Bald Mountain. It was, uh, yeah. I never owned any property that had that had something on that was on um, the maps named on the maps. Bald Mountain is. It's that's on where it is, right on there. The maps and it's on our property. <laughs> so, President, they probably like to have one posed shot. Well, I think you would. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Would it be too presumptive to have one with Elizabeth? Of course not. No. Thank you. Thank you. My daughter. <laughs> she is. Sir, looking. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, we have a. I'm afraid we're one short here. For <laughs> no, or Elizabeth is here with us all time. Oh. So. I, I work here, so that's. Oh, I, I knew, but I was. I just didn't want you to feel left out. Not at all. Well, there's a bookmark. It's oh, a how lovely. Seal. Thank you very we much. We thought that maybe a belt buckle might be. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled with that. <laughs> Thanks very much, President. Certainly a wonderful pleasure being here. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Pleased to see you. We're behind you 100%. Uh, oh, if, uh, I, I thought maybe we could auction one of these off on the ride, which is a duplicate of, if you wouldn't mind signing it in uh, some place. And I think we can raise some money for the Ranchero. It's right? the best spot. I'll yeah. 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 put some weight in. Yeah. For a good cause, right? Yeah, let's see. Maybe that makes sense. I've got one. There's one, under. one underneath there. Yeah. Oh, that that top one? Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Right. I didn't read. I, I thought there were only the two. There I am again. There you are again. <laughs> oh, You're all over the place. What are you going to start the bidding at? Um, I'm not going to be in charge of that. <laughs> it's going to be at a high number. <laughs> well, general right. construction. All right. And uh, kindly give our regard for your Nancy. I sure will. Oh, she's, uh, she's in New York right now. Oh, she, she'll be home tomorrow. Thank you. We're looking forward right. to that, I know. <laughs> I don't like that place up there. Right? By yourself. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you again, sir. Thank you. Good evening.